Hello friends, welcome to DP Tutorials. In this tutorial, let us learn how to create a relationship lag report in Primavera P6 schedule. First of all, what is lag or lead in Primavera P6? Lag is the duration that is added to any relationship as a waiting time to start the successor activity. If the lag is positive, it will have a wait time and if lag is negative, the successor activity will overlap with predecessor activity. Friends, according to scheduling standards, using lags in a schedule is a big risk because no one will ever understand the exact reason behind the logic of lags except the scheduler, the one who has prepared it or sometimes even the scheduler might be forgetting the exact reason. So let's learn how to create a relationships lag report in Primavera P6 now. Open the P6 now and from the menu bar go to tools and click on reports and then select reports. Now you will be landing onto the reports window. Click on this add button to create a new report. Now in this dialog box, click next. Choose the subject area as activity relationships. Click next. Click next. Now choose columns. Click on this columns and choose the columns as predecessor ID, successor ID, successor name, critical, relationship type, lag and then click OK. Now click on this group and sort under group by select none and then click OK. Now click on filter button under parameter select lag and set the condition as is not equal to and in the value field put zero days. So this will filter all lags that are not equal to zero durations. Now click OK. Click Next. Give a title to this report as Activity Relationships Lag Report or anything as per your wish and then click on Next. Click Next again and save your report before running it. Now click on this finish to close this dialog box. Now let's open any of the projects to run this report to check. I am opening this project now and let's run the report from the report screen. Right click on this report name, choose run and select run report. Now you can see that all the lags by activity IDs are shown here in detail like this. Got it friends? So in this way you can run the relationships lag report in Primavera P6. If you want to still use lags in your project schedule, I seriously recommend that you document Note all the reasons for putting the specific lags in your schedule. This will certainly help everyone to understand your scheduling logic much more better way. So friends, this is all about lags and creating activity relationships lag report in Primavera P6. So friends, if you have enjoyed this video tutorial, please do give me a like, share and comment. For further more interesting videos, Please do subscribe DP Tutorials. Thank you friends. Thanks for watching.